Okay, so I went in and um, got some of the detail in over here. And as I was doing that, I realized that this was a little bit too wide over here still. So I just brought this side in and readjusted um, the center of the um, arch. And so um, I think that'll help out a lot. Um, so let's uh, continue on and get some of these other details in. Um, on this side over here, we do have this um, uh, picture on the wall here that we can put in. Notice that with foreshortening, there's it's probably centered within that space, but we can see more here than there is here. And see how the top of it aligns with the top of that, um, the end edge of that transom. So um, we're always looking for ways that we can see how things relate um, to each other. If we wanted to find the center of that space, we could really, you know, go corner to corner and up the center. Um, but we can just kind of eyeball and see uh, see where things are. Bring a, uh, a vertical down to get the corner. And it's above the eye level because it's angling down towards the eye level. So let's go ahead and get that in. And then I think I'll bring the, the side of it over maybe just a little bit more to give it more of a sense that's it, that it's centered in the wall. And you know, when you're um, putting these things in details, just little details can help out a lot. Um, just instead of having a single line and a single outline so it looks like a piece of paper on the wall, if we can give it a little bit of dimension, um, we can see that this top edge is going to be thinner than the side. Let me bring that over just a little bit. Give that a little bit of thickness and come up here like this and then bring the edge so just thickening the lines, putting a double line, you know, around something can help out a lot. We put in just some little, um, little details that just helps to um, give it a little bit more integrity and make it look a little bit more real. And we could even come in and uh, get the the matting around them. We could put those four um, different sections in there. Uh, but let's keep going with um, getting some of these other things uh, on this other side here. We've got the another doorway that's over here. It doesn't line up with this doorway. It's in front of it. Um, a little bit. And because it's on this wall that we're so close to, it's very, very skinny. We, we hardly see any of it. But let's come down here and let's um, get, it comes out from the wall just a little bit. Well, let's see, let's go like this. So that it's parallel to that line right there for sure. And let's go up. It's a good guess that it's probably got a transom on it too, although we can't really see it and that gets pretty close to what's going on up there. Now let's um, flip this this way and get that little edge right there. So if we go like that, and that's going to be not quite as thick as that because it's a little bit farther away. 
and it'll do the same thing at the top, right? But I'm just trying to, let's see, if we go from here to here and to here maybe. There's sometimes in your reference, there's not a ton of information. Um, but so what are some things that we could go off of you know, that are already established? You know, if we, uh, if we do just, you know, come from where this is placed over onto here, onto this wall, that could give us just a little bit of an idea. Um, and if we know that this is to there, and so this would go, the top of this would maybe go about right there. And then we can bring this horizontal over to match what's down below. That got a little high. And we can adjust that. And then this, the, the width of the doorway that comes down kind of overlaps the, the width of that, the width of the wall itself right there. So let's go ahead and put that in. Keeping an eye on the edge of my triangle with the other vertical lines that I have going. Whoa, <laughs> that got out of control real quick. Not paying attention. Okay, let's try that again. Coming up like that. And then we can complete this going to the vanishing point. Get that corner in right there. All right. Now, since I mean there really isn't a whole lot of information in there, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna leave that um, the way it is. But we do have uh, an indication on this far wall of where the um, molding will start on the floor because it's lining up with this corner over here. We could bring that across on the other side and then going from that corner then through the vanishing point will give us the molding right there and then coming down here. And then we can bring it across right there and we'll just continue that through. And that through like that. All right, I'm just gonna lighten up that eye level. So now we can also take out uh, some of these other guidelines but something also to consider is the thickness of this molding here it comes out from the corner it comes out from the wall a little bit and we also have this painting on the wall um, and there's probably some molding uh, around the edge of the wall like there is here or around the edge of the door um, so I'm going to bring this corner out just a little bit to allow for that. So that is just some serious, serious molding that is going on there. And then we've got lots of, we got one, two, three, four, five, about six lines that are coming um, coming down along here, they're giving us the different layers and textures of that molding. So I'm just going to do some light indications of that. And if I were going to um, 
be shading this eventually, you know, that could, that could help us out. And then if I just bring some of that uh, contour right there, that can just give a, a little thickness to the molding. Again, so it doesn't look like everything's just flat and made of paper stuck to the surface. We also don't want, though, the darker you make things, the more they seem like they're closer to us. So we can lighten up uh, some of that. Let's go ahead and get this um, painting on the wall here and see how it comes out from the wall a little bit. Let's go ahead and get that in place. And um, let's see, it's about that far down from the top of the doorway. Whoops. And it goes off there. And it's above the eye level again. So let's be sure to indicate that. But then let's bring our vertical down over here. And I do want to get the thickness of it accounted for because I think that's interesting. So let's let's do make that a little bit skinny and uh, bring the edge of it up like that and we'll just continue it up off the page. But let's then account for the thickness of it on the wall and we'll do that by uh, bringing just a slight, this is just a horizontal line right there that is parallel to the eye level and to all of our other horizontals, even though it's tiny. And then we can make the bottom of the painting. It's gonna be real, real skinny, but it's gonna, connect with another horizontal right there. And that gets our painting on the wall. And I mean, you know, if you wanted to, you could go in and and kind of get some of that, those abstract shapes on there to make it more interesting. But let's get just um, a couple little details. Let's get this little um, table in. As now we move, start moving back um, you can see the table, it's on the other side of the um, archway, and it's got, well, maybe that's outside of the, there we go, and uh, it's almost right at eye level, but the top of it is, um, almost looks like it's uh, at an angle a little bit, or maybe there's um, a side that comes up. Um, but let's continue in a minute. 